Welcome back to Let's Get Made. We are here in New York City at the Aventi Hotel. I'm here with my girl Chrissy Cagney. Hi. The very cool and tattooed <laughs> Chrissy Cagney, I might add. How many hours does this take? Okay. This arm alone was 50. 50 hours? Yeah, just my arm. I oh have my, my whole gosh. legs done. I mean, I've got I've got well over 150 hours on the table. Oh my gosh. When well, you do the math, <laughs> I mean, dizzy. well, it's a work of art. I'm telling you, it's exactly. gorgeous. And a matter of fact, you know, my one little tattoo on my back, I'm going to probably add to that. So you might see something really cool eventually here. I'm, I'm for it. All right. Well, when I come to California, I might do it then. Yes, we'll see. For sure. So Chrissy, tell me real quick. Okay. So you got a lot going on. Okay. Oh, so wow. you're, you're an ambassador of Iron Fist. Uh-huh. You have RAF. That's yes, your thing. That's my gym. I mean, so how is that? I mean, is this a lot going on with it, you for doing this? It or? is, but it's really cool because what we've done is like we've teamed up a lot. Okay. Like um, Iron Fist Athletics now actually like my gym sponsors. So my gym's RAF. Okay. But um, we let Iron Fist like put their banners on camp. We sell their clothing. So it's kind of turned into an awesome teamwork and all the events we do. Oh, Iron Fist has like sponsored us and like when Maya and I came out last time we were in New York, they sent me with like shirts and everything to get to everybody that came to the boot camp. Oh, so it's, sweet. It's turned into a really awesome partnership. Well, I'll tell you, every time I see you, you know, on Instagram, you know, you definitely rocking a lot of cool stuff. You're always <laughs> doing something really cool. So, you know, whatever's going on with this girl, you definitely want to follow and be a part of. But tell me, one thing I definitely want to mention to you was um, we were talking about your philosophy on, on, on working out and exactly, fitness. Yeah. Can you tell me briefly, like, how is it that you see your philosophy on working out and stuff like that? Um, recently, physique? I just, I really, I've been, like, emphasizing strength over vanity. Like, I just think being strong is so important in the long run. Your looks only last so long. Right. And I see all these girls just doing hours of cardio and starving themselves to get six packs when it's so much more functional strength is just so much more important to me I just really really push it especially on women right. that being strong is so much more important than being you know like strong is the new skinny Absolutely. that's like the new right. thing going on right now and I just really focus on getting girls in the weight room not Absolutely. being afraid of the iron that is really cool I'm glad you said that because functional strength mm -hmm. is important I mean it's good to look cool you know I mean if you got you know you know arms like this I mean that's great <laughs> but you know I got a bench press big number as you know. Right. But but no, that's really cool. So in doing this process, is it is it different as far as the way you eat and the way you like how many like uh, how many sets and workouts? People and see the way I eat and they they can't even believe it. Like I just I've gotten to the point where like I make like healthy choices, but right. I, I eat what I want. And when I don't I don't I know people who really focus on the you know eating every two to three hours. And I've just recently with all my research and like you know everything I've been doing, I've just come to find like feed your body, like listen to your body, eat Absolutely. when you're hungry. You know, give your good. Don't fear the fat. People are so afraid of fats, and fats are so crucial, like with muscle building and everything. And yes. it's just, I don't know. A year and a half ago, you wouldn't catch me dead eating egg yolk or bacon. I can't get enough of it now, and <laughs> I'm stronger than ever. Everybody so. loves bacon. Come on. I know, but I used to be afraid of it, and now right. I put bacon on everything, and I've never, I mean, I'm deadlifting over 300 pounds now, you know? You hear that? It's awesome. <laughs> deadlifting over 300 How many of y'all out there doing that? Male or female? You tell me. <laughs> Chrissy, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much for having me. Coming out here, girl. Awesome, yeah. Oh, man. Can't wait for you to come to Cali. I will be, be there. Trust me. We'll make videos. Thank you guys thank so you. much. We'll see you next time.